assalamu alaikum students uh, today our uh, topic of discussion is uh, erythropoiesis you can see here uh, the blood vessel having uh, tunica adventitia tunica media and tunica entima and white blood cells red blood cells and platelets so first of all uh, the definition of uh, erythropoiesis and then uh, site of erythropoiesis, stages of erythropoiesis, reticulocyte, mature red blood cells, factors affecting erythropoiesis, erythropoietin, and the role of vitamin B12 in erythropoiesis. So first of all is uh, the hemopoiesis. Hemo referring to blood cells and poiesis, the development or production. So the word hemopoiesis refers to the production and uh, or development of uh, all uh, the blood cells while erythropoiesis is specifically for uh, the formation of erythrocytes while for leukocytes there is leukopoiesis and for thrombocytes there is thrombopoiesis and you can see here different types of uh, uh, blood cells erythropoiesis monocytes erythrocytes monocytes eosinophils platelets lymphocytes neutrophils and basophils so here is uh, uh, the definition uh, it is the process of uh, development differentiation and maturation of RBCs from primitive stem cells. So here is uh, uh, the formation of uh, platelets and white blood cells. So regarding uh, uh, the site of erythropoiesis during the intrauterine life uh, mesoblastic stage, third week to three months, there is a mesoblastic stage. And then after uh, three months, the stage is hepatic stage. And uh, here, the erythropoiesis occur in liver. While uh, in the third trimester, uh, that is uh, the last three months of the pregnancy, uh, there is myeloid stage. And this myeloid stage uh, is in the bone marrow. So, uh, you can see there are three stages according to the intrauterine life. In children, all bones with red bone marrow, liver and spleen, these are the locations, these are the sites for children for uh, erythropoiesis. While in adult, after 20 years, the sites for erythropoiesis are end of long bones like femur, humerus, skull, vertebrae, ribs, sternum, and pelvis. So these are the sites in uh, fetus, in children, and in adults for erythropoiesis. So here you can see uh, the different uh, stages of erythropoiesis. First of all, uh, there is a pluripotent hemopoietic stem cells uh, and uh, which uh, will convert in the presence of uh, interleukins and uh, 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 convert into burst forming unit erythrocyte. And this burst forming unit erythrocyte will be converted into clony forming unit E that is for erythrocyte. And then there is proerythroblast, basophilic erythroblast, polychromatophilic erythroblast, orthochromatic erythroblast, and reticulocyte, and ultimately the mature RBC that is erythrocyte. Now we will discuss all these stages one by one 
this is uh, uh, the diagram uh, of uh, hemopoiesis from uh, Guyton and uh, here you can see firstly there is a pluripotent hemopoietic stem cells which will convert into cloniforming unit suplene and this cloniforming unit suplene is converted into cloniforming unit blast and then cloniforming unit erythrocytes are formed and ultimately erythrocytes so uh, at this point we will focus on erythropoiesis but here you can see the leukopoiesis and thrombopoiesis as well you can see here proerythroblast basophilic erythroblast polychromatic erythroblast orthochromatic erythroblast reticulocyte and erythrocyte this sequence is very important so be remember this sequence you should know that as uh, the stage progresses there is decrease in the nucleus nucleus becomes condensed while there is increase in the hemoglobin content as each stage progresses <clears throat> so uh, first stage that is uh, pluripotent hemopoietic stem cells these cells have extensive proliferative capacity and also the ability to give rise to new stem cells self renewal capacity so ability to differentiate into any blood cell lines that is pluripotency so these pluripotent hemopoietic stem cells can be differentiated into uh, erythrocytes, into leukocytes or into uh, platelets and uh, the hemopoietic stem cells are bone marrow cells that are capable of producing all types of blood cells. They differentiate into one or another uh, type of uh, committed cells that are progenitor cells. the progenitor cells or the committed cells lose their capacity for self renewal they become irreversibly committed they become if that they are committed for red blood cells so they will form the red blood cells and uh, then there is uh, blast forming uh, unit e and uh, uh, this uh, burst uh, forming unit e that uh, give rise to each uh, to thousands of nucleated erythrocyte uh, erythroid precursor cells undergo some changes to become the cloniforming forming unit e and uh, um, the, there is a regulator called burst promoting activity uh, this regulator actually converts uh, the burst forming unit E into clony forming unit E. There is the burst forming unit E and uh, uh, unipotent progenitor cells less sensitive to erythropoietin response to other stimulus uh, forms and uh, clony forming unit E uh, highly sensitive and dependent on erythropoietin as compared to burst forming unity e. and uh, there is the third stage that is a pro erythroblast 15 to 20 micron in size nucleus with multiple nuclei basophilic cytoplasm with perinuclear halo you can see here perinuclear uh, on the periphery of the nucleus there is a halo and uh, there is no hemoglobin at the level of a proerythroblast while basophilic erythroblast 
slight reduction in size 14 to 17 micron as compared to um, proerythroblast large nucleus nuclei reduce in number uh, basophilic cytoplasm active mitosis then is uh, the polychromatophilic uh, intermediate or uh, normal blast or polychromatophilic erythroblast uh, 10 to 15 micrometer in size you can see the size is consistently reducing uh, polychromasia uh, nucleus condenses chromatin lumps uh, hemoglobin starts appearing reduced mitosis so nucleus is condensing nucleus is reducing while uh, hemoglobin starts appearing there is orthochromatic erythroblast that is uh, 7 to 10 micrometer that is uh, also uh, less than uh, the previous uh, stage that is uh, polychromatophilic isodophilic erythroblast which is uh, the last precursor with the nucleus so here the, and uh, the nucleus is compact and situated near the membrane pycnotic nucleus is extruded uh, the, the condensed nucleus pycnotic means there is a condensed nucleus which comes out of uh, the membrane and uh, then uh, this nucleus become lysed and um, cytoplasm is like a mature red cell reflecting a high hemoglobin content then there is reticulocyte reticular uh, nuclear fragments and the nucleus extruded from the cell membrane and uh, slightly larger than RBCs and mature erythrocyte reddish circular biconcave 7 to 8 micrometer and um, no visible internal structure high hemoglobin content bright at center due to biconcave shape So the erythrocyte is the smallest one with the high hemoglobin content and no nucleus and with biconcave shape. So what are the changes occur during erythropoiesis? Decrease in size, loss of mitotic activity, hemoglobinization, change of cell shape from globular to biconcave, disappearance of nucleus, mitochondria, RNA, etc. And there is a change of uh, staining that is uh, basophilic to eosinophilic. So these are the changes. Now how uh, the erythropoiesis uh, is uh, regulated, there are different factors for its regulation. One is uh, uh, the One is uh, the general factors, hypoxia, erythropoietin, growth inducers, vitamins, maturation factors, vitamin B12, folic acid, which are the vitamins. And the other vitamin important is vitamin C, which helps in iron absorption, protein for amino acids, uh, for uh, globin synthesis, 
calcium, bile salts, cobalt, and nickel are also required for erythropoiesis. So we will discuss them one by one. Erythropoietin is a glycoprotein with molecular weight 34,000 and has 165 amino acid residues. Formation 85% formed in endothelial cells of the peritubular capillaries of renal tubules, while 15% formed in liver, hepatic cells, and kufr cells. Kufr cells are the macrophages present in the liver while uh, breakdown in liver half-life is five hours so this uh, site of uh, formation of erythropoietin is very important that is uh, peritub endothelial cells of peritubular capillaries of renal tubules that is a very important mcq Stimuli for production of erythropoietin hypoxia, products of RBC destruction, high altitude, anemia, chronic obstructive lung diseases, catecholamines, prostaglandins. So here you can see this is an other diagram from Guyton. There is a hematopoietic stem cells, proerythroblast, red blood cells. And when the tissue oxygenation is decreased due to different factors like low blood volume, anemia, low hemoglobin, poor blood flow, pulmonary diseases, the tissue oxygen decreases, there is hypoxia. And, and as a result of hypoxia, there is increased production of erythropoietin from the kidneys, from the peritubular cells of kidneys. Uh, so, uh, when there is a release of uh, more erythropoietin, there is more erythropoiesis. So there is increase in red blood cells production. So this is very important diagram regarding uh, regulation of uh, uh, erythropoiesis during hypoxia. So here you can also see the factors affecting uh, erythropoietin. Uh, there are uh, two types of factors. Firstly, the increasing factors uh, include uh, hormones like androgens, thyroxine, growth hormone, ACTH, adrenocorticotropin hormone, and uh, prolactin, adrenocortical hormones, steroids, And uh, you can see the nucleotides, CAMP, NAD, NADP, vasoconstrictor drugs that cause renal hypoxia. And uh, there is uh, the decreasing factors for erythropoietin include adenosine antagonist theophylline, uh, estrogen, very important, decreases synthesis of globin and depressing erythropoietic response to hypoxia so you can see here the estrogen decreases uh, erythropoietin secretions so decreases the erythropoiesis while uh, androgen uh, the male hormone increases the erythropoietin so uh, the two hormones have uh, uh, opposite effects on uh, erythropoietin uh, secretions and uh, also on erythropoiesis. That's why male have uh, more number of RBCs as compared to female. So here you can see the uh, another factor that is vitamin B12, cyanocobalamin or extrinsic factor. Daily need one to two micrograms, sources milk, meat, liver of animals, also synthesized by bacterial flora. 
So uh, the vitamin B12 is the extrinsic factor, maturation factor, cobalt containing vitamin. Um, erythroblasts, uh, failure of uh, DNA synthesis due to lack of uh, vitamin B12 and folic acid. And uh, there is a uh, megaloblast. So uh, lose their uh, nuclei, megaloblast, larger irregular RBCs that can easily destroy it. So the RPCs cannot maybe cannot mature uh, without vitamin B12 and folic acid because the both of them are maturation factors. So the RPCs remain uh, in in uh, uh, in immature stage. So they are uh, because the erythroblast are immature they are larger in size uh, while erythrocyte is mature and smaller in size so when the rvcs cannot mature due to lack of vitamin b12 or folic acid the rbcs remain in erythroblast stage and this erythro in the erythroblast stage the rbcs are larger in size that's why they are called megaloblast and uh, Due to deficiency of vitamin B12 or folic acid, uh, there is a condition called megaloblastic anemia because of large, uh, because uh, of uh, the large size of the RBCs. Folic acid daily requirement: 100 microgram. Leafy vegetables, pulses, yeast, liver. From uh, from breakdown of uh, polyglutamate to monoglutamates, and uh, the clinical aspects uh, there is anemias, reduced RBC count, reduced hemoglobin concentration, and there is also reduced pack cell volume or reduced hematocrit. So these three things: reduced RBC count, reduced hemoglobin concentration, and reduced hematocrit. Uh, constitute the anemia. So polycythemia increase RBC count, polycythemia vera, secondary polycythemia due to hypoxia. We will discuss them uh, in detail in uh, the lecture of anemia. So it is uh, all about uh, the erythropoiesis and the factors affecting uh, erythropoiesis. If you have any confusion, you can consult me on uh, my WhatsApp number. I will uh, answer your all queries. Thank you.